stuff, but I, I'm thinking all kinds of things, you know, and the Lord's giving me all kinds of things. I said, Lord, yes. <laughs> help, help, help. Amen. All right, so we're on go. Yes. Welcome, everybody, all those who that, that, that are joining us. A happy Sunday morning to you. Amen. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. Prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. You are welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Prepare yourselves yeah. to receive what God has for you. Amen. Yeah. He's always got something for us. You meet with him daily, and he's got something for you. He's got yeah. an assignment. He wants you to go. He says, he told his disciples, go. Yeah. Amen. That's two-thirds of his name. Go. Uh -huh. Amen. And you can do all things through him. And we got to remember these things as we go, that he is with us. He never leaves us nor forsakes us. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. I'm excited and I'm about you. But anyway, all those those of you that are joining us by audio, video, prepare yourselves to receive. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio y video. Prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Amen. And he's got good things for us. So grab your sword, soldiers, and say it like the main at church. Amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind's alert. My spirit receptive. And I'm going to do the same. Amen. Hold on. My spirit is receptive. Yeah. My mind is alert. Yeah. You got to keep those awake. You got to keep Amen. those straight. You know, because you know why? Because the battlefield is the mind. Yes, Amen. Yes. The enemy comes to steal, kill, destroy. Wow. And he's going to put thoughts in there that have you thinking about other things. I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking cowboys. <laughs> but right now, God wants to bless you. Right now, God wants to talk to you. He's got a message for you. So wherever your mind is, get it off of that and put it on God. Amen. Put your, put, put your mind on him. Amen. Amen. And he Amen. wants to speak to you. He wants to talk to you. He wants to encourage you. And we're not allowing him. Sometimes we got to not only hear, we have to listen. And then we have to meditate on what he gives us. Amen. Just like when you eat a good meal. It tastes so good, and you just want to taste it and enjoy it. Amen? You just don't chop it all down and swallow it. And, well, you know, that was okay. <laughs> it was good. It's delicious. The Word of God is good. Amen? Amen. Praise God. You have your handouts, those of you that are joining us by audio video. Uh -huh. We have a few handouts we gave out. And I don't know when to bring these in, so we might as well bring them in now. <laughs> Amen? So, anyway, we're going to be talking today about got a few weeks left uh, Thanksgiving and you know why? I don't know why but um, one week okay uh -huh. <laughs> November December are always thought about as giving months I don't know why but every month every day should be a giving day uh -huh. amen and we're going to be talking about live to give excuse me give to live yes. and now we some some of us we have a backwards is we live to give well, you can do that too, but give to live. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. And God, for the God so loved the world, he gave. Amen. Yeah. So we're going to start there. That's going to be our text. Uh, if you look at the first one, I don't know why I didn't get a colored one. Oh. Um, <laughs> it says, it is important that you find that you, it is important to you that you find the way. I don't know if you noticed, but way is capitalized. It's not a mistake. Amen. If not, if not, you'll find an excuse. No more excuses. Amen. The world is full of excuses. And you know, we don't need to pick up anymore because I've got plenty of them. Okay? I don't have to point fingers because I've got a whole bunch of them. All right. But anyway, this is our text and I, I wrote it in three different translations there. First one says, uh, John 14, 6 says, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one no one comes to the Father except through me. Right. Amen. Now look what the Amplified says. Huh. Jesus says, I am the only way mm -hmm. eh, to God and the real truth and the real life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes you just read it out in different translations and see what it says. But and then the easy to read version, if, you, if you're trying to figure out what ERV means, it's easy to read uh, version, okay? That's the easy to read version. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The only way to the Father is through me. Mm -hmm. Amen? Through him. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. I don't know about you, but that's, that's a big blessing right there. Yes. Because the world will try to 
teach you another way. <laughs> the world will try to teach you another way, and there is no other way to the Father except through me, it says. And you notice that me, well, all of them, if you notice the way is capital, the way is capitalized, truth is capitalized, life is capitalized, and me is capitalized. Yeah. Only through Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. And uh, I was I was telling you that um, November, December are the giving months, you know, because yeah. of Thanksgiving and because of Christmas. So we think about giving. Mm -hmm. And I thought about giving this to you right now <laughs> so you can have it with you <laughs> because we're always thinking about I don't have anything to give. Yeah. Let's let's uh, let's read it together for those that are watching, for those that are listening. It says, today is the day what to give. Even if your bank account is a zero, finances are not the only thing believers have to give. Believers have more to give. God gave His best. Jesus, Jesus gave His best. Well, salvation. Amen. <laughs> and believers, we can give our best. You know, we're called to participate, not spectate. That's right. Amen. Yeah. So we got to give it our all. We just, a few weeks ago, we are talking about surrendering all to him. Mm -hmm. Amen. He surrendered himself to the Father. He gave himself back to the Father. Mm -hmm. Jesus did. So we need to surrender ourselves. Woo. I'm way ahead. I'm getting way ahead of myself. Yeah, but right. I, I want to read this to you. And you can mark these down. Uh, 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20. You can mark those down, you can read it later, but I'll read it to you. It says, Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? For you have been bought at a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which is of God. Amen. Yeah. This is awesome. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. So they gave their best. And, of course, John uh, 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, he gave mm -hmm. his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Mm -hmm. Luke 6, 9, uh, 38 says what? Give, and it shall be given unto you. Give to live. Amen. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Uh, whoo, will it be put in, in, into your bosom? In your bosom. Into your bosom. But with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. We cannot outgive God. Amen. That's right. He will always make sure that you are blessed. Amen. Amen. And of course it says, what can I give? <laughs> you can give. And it's got a list of things that you can give. Amen. It says you can give. Of course, the fruit of the Spirit says love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, uh, gentleness, and self-control. You can give of yourself. Mm -hmm. You can give of your time. You can give of your heart. You can give of your compassion. Yeah. Your emotions, your thoughts, uh, give a thank you. Some people forgot to say thank you. You know, sometimes I say thank you to people, and they look at you like you're weary. <laughs> give a kind word. Give a cheerful attitude. Give an uh, appreciation, encouragement, honor, happiness, hope. Or give a prayer. You know, if you pr I promise to pray for somebody, don't be ashamed of who's listening. I'm going to pray for you right then. Amen. Mm -hmm. Pray. They need prayer right now. They don't say, well, you know, hey, when I'm away from everybody or when I, I think about it again, I'll pray for you. Mm -hmm. No, pray right there. They need your prayer right there. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, guess what? <laughs> Sometimes those around you might listen, might hear you, and they might come around and say, can you pray for me too? Mm -hmm. Amen. God has you in a special place at a special time. Amen. Yeah. You're a, a blessing of God going somewhere to happen. Yes. That's See yourself that way. Amen. It's, he says, if you're ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. So anyway, keep things. So this Christmas, Thanksgiving, and every month, you say, well, I don't have anything to give. <laughs> you have a whole lot to give. Yeah. Amen. This is just a uh, short list. There's more things that you can give. Amen. Uh -huh. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. I mean, yeah. that's, that, that stretch right there. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. Amen. So praise God. So church, be changed, be blessed. Be encouraged. And you know, he wants to correct us. It's time we correct. We come together, encourage one another, but he wants to also bless us and correct us in how we go about doing what he wants us to do. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Grab yourselves and uh, get ready. <laughs> Amen. Amen.
So give thanks. There's a series, of course, that we're going to give for the next uh, couple of weeks as we go into uh, Thanksgiving. Giving thanks with a grateful heart. Mm -hmm. Giving thanks of being uh, grateful is John 3, 16. For God so loved the world, he gave his only yeah. begotten son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have yeah. everlasting life. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. A couple of scriptures I want to give you, and you can write these down if you don't have them. Uh, wrote down yet, but it's 1 Corinthians 16, 34, and if you go to 1 Corinthians, or excuse me, Chronicles, <laughs> go back the other way, 1 Chronicles, Chronicles. 16, 34. 1 Chronicles is right before 2 Chronicles. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and right after Kings, okay? <laughs> Are you there? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hallelujah. We're going to be all over the Bible. Amen. Uh -huh. Praise God. It's good to know the Word of God. Mm -hmm. It'll set you free. Just, you know the truth is going to set you free. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> First Chronicles chapter 16, verses 34 says, O give thanks to the Lord, for he is what? Good for his mercy and his loving kindness endureth forever. Amen. Amen. Now you go all the way through the New Testament. From First Thessalonians, these are uh, some texts that we're going to be using. First Thessalonians is right before Second Thessalonians. Boy, you're smart today. Yeah, of course. And uh, <laughs> you see, it's right after um, Colossians. Hey, there you go. Thank you. Are you there? First Thessalonians chapter five verse eighteen. Okay. Amen. I know it's it's great. But you know what? Start at verse sixteen. It says rejoice yeah. forever. Rejoice evermore. <laughs> and it says pray without ceasing. Amen. So pray. You know prayer is good, yeah. and prayer has no distance. Amen. Now, you can pray for somebody you just heard of or saw. And you can pray for a storm or anything happening. You can pray for the peace in the world. You can pray for anything. Amen. Praise God. In verse 18, and it says our scripture there, our verse there, it says what? In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Amen. Well, it's just a few uh, text scriptures that we're going to be using. Amen. Believers should not, <clears throat> believers should give thanks to him on a daily basis yes. with an attitude of gratitude. Amen. Gratitude changes <laughs> depression into joy. Oh, it changes boy. a frown into a smile. Right, yeah. <laughs> Make yourself approachable. You know, it's okay to put a smile on your face. People oh, always curious why, you, why you're smiling. <laughs> Let them know because Jesus loves me. Because Jesus gives me a new day to serve him. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm not concerned. Yeah, I've got some circumstances. Yeah, I've got giants i got to fight. But guess what? Greater is he that sent me than he yeah. that sent the world. Amen. Yeah. Ooh, hallelujah. Make yourself approachable. Not, uh, put a frown on your face and you know you'd be just like the world pushing people away. Mm. Put a smile, you know. Amen. Gratitude. Being thankful. Being grateful. Being appreciative. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Amen. Again, giving thanks to God on a daily basis. Psalms 118.24 says, this is the day the Lord has made. Yes. It says we. Some scripture, some uh, translation says we. I put on there, I will rejoice and be glad Amen. in it. Giving thanks every day. Amen. Yes. Be grateful. Be, rejoice and be glad. Being thankful. Giving yes. thanks unto the Father. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Another day to serve you. Another day to be used of God. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Oh. I'm happy already. <laughs> you know, you don't <clears throat> exclude yourself. You include yourself. Because he's called you and put you on this mission. You're equipped for this mission. He's picked you and called you, so now it's time for me to do something about it. Amen? Mm -hmm. So I wrote a little something here. It says, giving thanks every day, no matter what the circumstances are, no matter what the report uh, you've gotten. What report have you gotten lately? Oh, what boy. did the doctor say? What did uh, uh, anybody, what's your job say? What's, what, what, what's, what's going on? What report did you receive? Was it a bad report? You know, whose report are you going to believe? Mm -hmm. This is what the world says. This is what the Word of God says. Yeah. Whose report are you going to stand on? Whose report are you going to believe? Mm -hmm. Amen. Whew. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Will you 
preaching better than any better than me. Come on now. <laughs> no matter what the report is about, about your health, about your wealth, about your finances, yeah. about your job, about your promotion, yeah. whose report are you going to believe? I want to, I want to believe the report of the Lord. Yeah. I want to stand on what the Word of God says. Uh -huh. He says when you've done all to stand, you do yeah. what? Stand. Amen. Amen. I'm, standing on, I'm standing on your yeah. Word, Lord, no matter what. I'm going to yeah. believe and I'm going to stand on what your word says. Yes. Psalms 92, 92 and 1 says, It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. And to sing praises mm -hmm. unto the Most High. Yeah. Amen. All these are beautiful psalms. We've sung them before. We sung them before. <laughs> <laughs> we sang them this it, well, you didn't know it was on the lesson here. Amen. It's no, on the message. No. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. Yes. Amen. To sing praises. Unto thy name. You know, we yes. forgot about these things. You know, we try to get some of the world into the church uh. to entertain people. We can't do that. We got to preach the word and sing the word back to him. You know, say, hey, yes. praise you, Father. Give you thanks. It's a good thank thing. You, Lord. It's an awesome thing. Amen. Yes, Give is. thanks to praise him uh -huh. for blessing us so abundantly. John 10 10 says what? It starts off this way The thief comes, yes. the enemy comes, the devil comes, uh -huh. except to steal kill and destroy. Jesus says, I have come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Amen. Amen. So this is what the report says. <laughs> but whose report are you going to believe? I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. No matter what, you know, sometimes you might just get to stand by yourself and everybody else is over there. You know what a lot of people do? They just go with the crowd. <laughs> they follow the crowd. Be a God pleaser, not a man yes. pleaser. And sometimes you got to stand by yourself. But you know what? You're not by yourself. He's with you. Because he says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. So he is with you. Believers should give thanks daily and not just on Thanksgiving or once a year, but on a daily basis, on a monthly basis, every day. Give thanks to him. Amen. If you're not doing it, it's time to start. You know what's the good thing is? One day we were lost. And we did an about face, and we turned around, and now we're serving him. Amen. So it's okay. You know, if you've never done it before, it's time to start. Yes. <laughs> we sang a song this morning, Why Me, Lord? <laughs> have you ever heard uh, Have you ever heard uh, uh, Chris Christopherson's uh, uh, testimony? Mm -hmm. If you haven't, you know, you think, well, you know, God only uses important people. No, no. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Just a quick, uh, brief uh, uh, part of his testimony you know, they asked him to sing the song. The God gave him a, a song. It's, this, this song came out of his testimony. Mm -hmm. He said, well, he says he was visiting the church, something that I don't do. You know? <laughs> <laughs> some of us were there, okay? So <laughs> some of us may have to stumble in here, you know? Some of us may have walked in here uh, full of drugs, full of the devils, full of uh, alcohol, you know? But still, you know, God never pushes you away. That's right. He's always willing to, yes. you know, come in. But, you know, he's knocking and we got to open yeah. the door. Yeah. And he, he says he was visiting the church, you know. And there was a service, a great service. And uh, he says uh, the pastor gave an invitation. He says, uh, you know, uh, if you're ready to accept Jesus, you know, just come on down. He said, I ain't about to do this. <laughs> I'm not going to do this, okay? And we was there, so don't laugh, you know? <laughs> but guess what? When I first went to church, I sat way in the back. I said, hey, if something's weird happening here, I'm getting out. <laughs> so you've been there. You know what your testimony is. And testimonies are good because they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. Amen? <laughs> He says, I ain't going down. So guess what? Next thing you know is he's joining the crowd. He's going down. And he's got up there at the altar call. And the pastor says, you know, raise your hands and uh, and get ready to receive Christ. He says, I ain't going to raise my hands. You know, who's watching me, you know? So guess what? He raised his hands. He says some things happened to him. And he found himself uh, crying and found himself on the, on the carpet. <laughs> and he said, but he know he's, this is what he said. He says, he felt a forgiveness mm -hmm. just lift off of him. Yes. Amen. He yeah. felt it. Can you can you imagine that? He felt the forgiveness. Maybe he felt all these devils coming out of him, oh. you know? All this bad stuff coming out of him. Mm -hmm. That's us, man. He was there. I was there. Amen. Mm -hmm. There's people out there that we got to reach. Yes. Amen. That need to come out of this stuff, you know? 
So remember that. That was just a quick, quick thing that if you never heard it, you can go to uh, YouTube and, uh, and and just type, type on there uh, a Y Migo and uh, Chris Christopherson, and uh, he'll give you. You'll hear this testimony. I mean, that was real. So anyway, praise God. Amen. <clears throat> Here's a psalm of giving th thanks. Thanks, and uh, we've uh, said it so many times, and we've read it so many times. But it goes like this: it says Psalms 100. Oh yeah. It says, "Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Uh -huh. Serve the Lord with gladness, gladness. not sadness, right. <laughs> not with a frown. It says with gladness. gladness. Amen. Mm -hmm. He uses gladness and rejoice. Amen. Yeah." Come before his presence with singing. Yeah. Amen. He didn't say come into his presence with complaining all the time. You know? <laughs> That's the only time I come. You come see me. What if he tells you, you know, the only time you see me is when you want something. Yeah. The only time you come in here is when you're complaining about something. <laughs> but anytime things are going well, <laughs> you never see me. Uh -huh. What if he answers us this way? What if he greeted us that way? You know, it says, come before his presence with singing. Know yeah. that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his yeah. people and the sheep of his pasture. Uh -huh. So we enter his gates with thanksgiving, thanksgiving, enter his courts with praise, be thankful unto him, and bless his name, for the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord. If you never prayed that before, pray it. Sing it. You Amen. know, just read it. It's, it's an awesome, awesome song. Amen. Yes, it is. Psalms is prayer. I mean, songs, you know. So praise God, Psalms 103, 1 through 5. It's the song of David. It goes like this. I'm going to read it to you from the easy to read version. Amen. It says, Praise the Lord for his prayer. Excuse me. Praise the Lord. Every part of me. Praise his holy name. My soul praise the Lord. And never forget how kind he is. Yeah. He forgives all our sins. Yeah. He heals all our diseases. Uh -huh. He saves us from the grave. And he gives us love and compassion yes he gives us gives us plenty of good things uh -huh. and he makes us young again like the eagles that grow new feathers amen amen Woo, hallelujah Praise amen God. <laughs> so give thanks why because he first gave himself we give thanks because amen. he forgives all our sins yes amen you know he on a daily basis just go before him and says father I failed you. I sinned. Mm -hmm. He already knows. You just go to him and let him know. Amen. Amen. You'll, you'll forgive me. <laughs> Don't go around calling yourself a sinner. No sin. Okay? You're a child of God. Amen. I may come. I, might, I may have sinned and come short, but still, I'm a child of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things yes. have become new. Amen. I'm new now. He's called me a child. Uh -huh. I'm his child. He's my father. I'm a child of God. Amen. So you don't have to go around saying, I am a sinner. Amen. You're a child of God now. Amen. Amen. And if I, uh, if I come out short, if I, if I sin, I say, Father, I sin against you. Mm. And you know what? When it's lifted up, when it's washed away, you're still a child of God, mm. not a sinner. Amen. God so loved the world that he gave. Amen. Amen. But he's, you're no longer just a sinner. You are a child of God. Amen. Amen. He heals all our diseases. Yes. Sickness, illness. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you this. <laughs> I need to practice this myself. You know, sometimes when we get a little older, <laughs> a lot of times <laughs> our body is telling us <laughs> it's hurting. <laughs> Aches, pains come more often. <laughs> but you know, regardless of what your body's telling you, just remember and say, I am healed. Yes. By Jesus' stripes, I'm healed. Amen. And you're confessing the word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. No matter what your body's telling you, yeah. you confess the word and magnify the Lord and not magnify your problem, Amen. not magnify your aches and pains. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Father. By Jesus' stripes, I'm healed. No matter what body, line up with the word of God and be yeah. healed. Now, I receive my healing in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, yeah. hey, that's what the word of God says, tells us to do. So we don't go around just magnifying this problem, this ache, this That's pain, right. you know. Thank you, Father. Jesus, <laughs> we don't even touch what he went through. Mm. The, body said, the, the Bible says he was unrecognizable. Mm -hmm. You know, Hollywood makes him look nice. <laughs> huh. And he still couldn't kill him. 
yeah. until he surrendered himself to the yes. Father. Yes. But before he surrendered himself to the Father, he said, Father, forgive them. Yes. 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 Glory, we the whole many can't lose anything. That's right. Yeah. Redeem us from destruction. He saved us from hell. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Amen. Yes. You know, don't start compromising and saying, well, I wonder how, how hot. <laughs> hell it is. <laughs> <laughs> Is it bearable? Do I want to go there? No, we don't want to go there. God sacrificed His Son for us to receive the free gift of salvation. So let me contemplate that. Amen. He gives us His love and kindness and mercy and hope. Yes. He gives us his love and compassion, you know. Don't go around talking about people and seeing people or you see all these people that need help and say, well, you know, I'm just going to feel sorry for them. Uh -huh. Show the love and compassion of God. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. can help. Pray for them. Uh -huh. Amen. Give. Amen. Yes. That's something you can give. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Who? Oh. Reasons to give. Give thanks. Give thanks for his presence in your life. Thank you, Father, on a daily basis when you meet with him. I thank you, Father, that you are in my life. Yes. Amen. It makes my life much, much better. People desert, people desert us mm -hmm. when we need them. Uh. Been there? People just run from you until uh. <laughs> they need something. <laughs> the Lord is with us at all times, at all situations, no matter what the circumstances. Yeah. Amen. We get away from him. We walk away from him. And things start going wrong. Uh -huh. Amen. And then we turn around, just like the prodigal son, and turn around and come back to the Father. Mm -hmm. And you know what? He never turns you away. That's right. He always receives you, just like his father went, ran to meet him mm -hmm. and restore him. He wants to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. He calls you, he puts you on a mission, and he wants to restore you. Mm -hmm. Get up. It's time to press on yes. and do what I've called you to do. Press on, fulfill the mission I've called you to do. Yes. Amen. You got all the tools in you. Yes. You got all those gifts in you that He's given you. He's never going to take those gifts back. Right. So you allow somebody to, to say you're no good anymore, so just sit there and God can't use you no more. Mm -hmm. No, that's not what the Word of God says. That's not right. scriptural. If it's not scriptural, then get up and do what God has called you to do. Amen. Amen. Yes. Hebrews, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. The Lord has never left us or forsook us. Yes. Remember Noah? Remember Moses, Abraham, Gideon, Noah, Job, David, Joseph, Jesus? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just a few. <laughs> you know, the Bible here says of, in, in Hebrews that the, the, they're up there cheering us on. Huh. God never forsook them, and he's not going to forsake us. That's he's right. there for us. Amen? He's there for us. Thank you, Lord. So, praise God. Hebrews uh, 13, 5 and 6 says, Let us let your conduct be without uh, covetousness. Yes. Be content with such things as you have. Mm -hmm. For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. That's right. He is always with you. Mm -hmm. Amen. He is always with you. Mm -hmm. And verse 6 says, So we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Amen. Remember Paul and Silas? <laughs> they had a reason to be upset. Oh, boy. They had a reason to say, Lord, <laughs> look where we at. We were serving you, and look where we at. Mm -hmm. No, they started singing. They started singing songs. They started singing unto the Lord, yes. praises unto the Lord. Amen. And guess what? He heard them. <laughs> and he shows up, and it, the uh, chains came off. All the cell doors came open. Yeah. Amen. Huh. That was a... <laughs> A great time for the jailkeeper, what do you call to, to get saved. And his family got saved. And they were blessed. Amen. Amen. Praise God. What can man do to me? Psalm 23, his presence is always with us. He is our Lord, our Savior. He is our shepherd. Amen. The Amen. Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We can pray these on a daily basis. Psalms 91. Safety of abiding in the presence of God. Amen. Hallelujah. He's there. Uh, uh, Exodus uh, 33 and 4 says, The Lord replied, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Uh -huh. He is with me. He never leaves me nor forsakes me. So wherever you go, guess what? He knows. <laughs> right. And guess what? Wherever you go, he's already been there. So you know you have victory. 
Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Just prepare yourselves. Yeah. Be Praise that child of God. Be in a blessing. Thank Going you. somewhere to happen for God. Hallelujah. I can do all things through Christ. All things. And we're not intending to finish this today, so uh, get yourselves ready. We're talking about giving, a series on giving, giving thanks. Yeah. Amen. Give thanks for his protection in our lives. Yeah. There are many dangers in the world, yet God has protected us. Mm -hmm. He is the God on the mountain. He is the God in the valley. You know, yeah. sometimes even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. Why? Because God is with me. Yeah. Amen. He's God on the mountain. He's God in the valley. Wherever you happen to be, he is God. Amen. Yes, he, is. He, he doesn't change. I'm God. He says, I change not. Mm -hmm. God's protection has kept us alive so far. He is the reason we got this far. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. You know, when you were little, you didn't see yourself being where you are now. Huh. <laughs> But thank God we made a change. We received him as Lord and Savior. Amen. And now we're pressing on for him. Yes. Amen. So until the time he calls us home, Lord watches over us to protect us. Yes. Psalms 23. Amen. Pray these. Psalms 23, 91. Pray these on a daily basis. Remember the dangerous situations we have faced in the past and how God protected us. Mm -hmm. So be grateful and be thankful unto him. Amen. Yeah. Psalms 23 and 26 says, you can trust the Lord to protect you. He will not let you fall into harm. Mm. It's good to know the word. The truth is yeah. going to set you free. Yeah. Because when the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, when he put try to put these thoughts in there, mm. you say, that's not what the word God says. Mm. It's not scriptural. I'm not receiving it. So guess what? You no longer listen to his lies. Right. Ignore. You just say, I'm not listening to you anymore. Amen. I'm listening to what the Word of God says. Amen. Psalms 23, uh, 121, and, uh, verses 3 through 8 says this. He will not let you fall. Your protector will not fall asleep. Israel's protector does not get tired. He never sleeps. And verse 5 says, The Lord is your protector. The Lord stands by your side, shading and protecting you. The sun cannot harm you during the day, and the moon cannot harm you at the night. Verse 7, the Lord will protect you from every danger. He will not. He will protect your soul. And verse 8 says, the Lord will protect you as you come and go, both now and forever. Amen. Remember, the Lord is your protector. The Lord is your shepherd. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Uh, I just read that one. If you didn't, if you didn't uh, get it, it's uh, Psalms 121, verses 3 through 8. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We're going to read this, and then we can close it here. It says, give thanks for his protection in your life. The Lord is faithful to meet all your needs. He provides your food, your clothing, your shelter, all your needs. He provides us with so many blessings. Trust in the Lord and fear not, for the Lord will supply all of our needs, even in difficult times. Amen. And we know this scripture, we use it all the time. Philippians 4.19 says, And my God shall supply all your need yes. according to his riches and glory by Christ by Jesus. Jesus. Amen. So you know, the world says this, and the world gives you this report, but whose report are you going to stand on? I'm going to stand on what the report of the Lord says. He supplies all my needs. Yes. Amen. You know, in these last days, things are going to get hard. Things are going to happen. This is going to happen. That's going to happen. And he's not giving me a spirit of fear, so I'm not receiving that. That's right. And I'm trusting in God. I'm trusting in him because he's going to supply all of my needs. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So remember, you pray Psalms 23, Psalms 91 over yourselves all the time. And yes. Psalm, I mean, Philippians 4.19, my God shall supply yes. all of my needs my according needs. to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord shall supply all of my needs. Psalms uh, 34 and 8 through 10 says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. good. Yes. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Verse 9, Fear the Lord, you his holy people, for those who fear him lack nothing. Uh -huh. Amen. And verse 10 says, The lion may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, the Lord's my shepherd and I shall not want. Amen. Thank you for supplying all my needs, Lord. Yes. 
Psalms 33, verses 18 and 19. But the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him, uh -huh. on those whose hopes are in his unfailing love. In 19, to deliver them from death, to keep them alive in family. Amen. So God is with us at all times. Yes. He never leaves us nor forsakes us. You know, people will try to tell you, you know, he's gone. You've done this. You've done that. And God is just left. No, he's not. What we need to do is get on our knees and just confess and get that mess out of us. You know, it says quit it, admit it, quit, it, and get going again. Amen. Praise God. This is good. This is good. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. So we're going to stop there. And uh, and we're going to pick it up there again. Amen. Amen. The next one is going to be God. Uh, give thanks for the people God has placed in your lives. Mm. Sometimes we think wrong, but God has placed some people in your life that's, good, that, that, that's lifted you. Have you ever had anybody come and minister to you and be a a part of you and you can look back and say you know I don't know where this person came from mm -hmm. but it blessed me mm -hmm. it lifted me up mm -hmm. and you know all of a sudden that person's gone from your life mm -hmm. but it blessed you God brought people God brings people around that's going to in, uh, increase and bless your life mm -hmm. as you walk and start growing maturing in the things of God yes. and you look around you know I can give you a uh, uh, Squeaky's, uh, some of Squeaky's testimony. Uh, Squeaky got shot in, in the head and uh, they didn't give him no hope. But Stacy, the mother, you know, uh, says uh, they was praying for him. We was praying for him. Church was praying for him. But she says they came, had these two little old ladies that came to the hospital bed, to the hospital room. And uh, they had a little bottle and they had some oil. Man, they was greased all over, you know. And uh, and they went, they said, we want to pray. Uh, uh, come on, pray with us. And he said, well, there's only two and out in the room. And so she left them go in there and uh, pray for uh, Squeaky. And uh, when they came out, she went in, and boy, he was greased all over. <laughs> he had all on him all over, and they had prayed for him. And she walked out to go thank him, and guess what? She couldn't find him anywhere. They was gone. We've had those situations happen in our lives where you may not have thought about it, but Lord sent somebody in your life. Mm -hmm. Maybe you saw them, maybe you didn't, but all of a sudden they've come and gone in your life and they increased you. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's just like climbing another step and you grew in the things of God. Amen. Yes. He does that on, on a daily basis. Amen. Yes. So, amen. Praise and we're going to touch some more on that uh, next week. So, praise God. Amen. This is the time to give. Amen. It's a, it's a time to give thanksgiving unto God, you know. And we, when we first started, we were talking about the month of November and December, the month of giving, you know. But every month should be a month of giving. Every day should be a, a, a day of yeah. giving. Amen. So praise God. Amen. So we'll close there. Father, we just thank you for the opportunity to come before you, Lord. And we thank you for, the, for your precious word, Lord. Thank you that it is blessing us, it's changing us. If this is your first time, if you've never accepted Christ, now is the time, amen? Yeah. Just say, Lord Jesus, I've sinned against you, I repent. Come into my life, be my Lord and Savior. Amen? So, amen. you confess those words, you get yourself a, a Bible, a, a, a Bible that you can read, amen? You can mark, you can uh, uh, personalize, underline it. And study it for yourself, amen, and grow in the things of God. Get into a church that teaches the word of God, amen. amen. And you grow and go for him. It's time to change, amen. It's time to just press on with the things of God and be grateful because he is. He was there for you. He's there for you at all times, amen. So yes. praise God, amen. Amen.